Hey, are you having trouble passing your NCLEX? You came across the right video. Listen, I'm gonna show you exactly how I helped hundreds of nurses pass their NCLEX on the very next attempt. There's a link here on the screen or down in the description box. Make sure you click it. I'm hosting a free webinar where I'm gonna show you the exact NCLEX algorithm that I use with my student to help them pass on the very next attempt. You are no different. Make sure you click that link and free your calendar. Put an alarm. I'm gonna send you reminders so that you will not forget. Listen, there's no one's gonna help you pass your NCLEX but you. In this webinar, I'm gonna show you the exact algorithm that I use with my students to help them get their license and change their life forever. Ever. Listen, my name is Mohammed. On the internet, I'm known as Alpha Slice. Make sure you check my YouTube channel for more nursing content. You know, my students like to call me Mo, aka the Anklex King. Today, we're gonna discuss ABGs. ABGs is a very hot topic on the Anklex. A lot of people don't like it because it's very hard. I'm gonna simplify it to you in like two examples and two examples only. You're gonna love it. Forever, you're not gonna have any problems with ABGs if you work in critical care or you don't. This is yours forever. First, we're gonna start with some normal values. I'm gonna explain what acidosis is, what alkalosis is. Basically, everything on this side is acidosis. Everything on that side is alkalosis. We're gonna start with a pH. The normal value is between 7.35 and 7.45. So if your number, your pH is less than 7.35, it's gonna be acidosis. More than 7.45, it's gonna be alkalosis. All right? P PCO2, the normal is between 35 and 45. And you see I switched them. Because anything higher than 45 is gonna be acidosis. Anything lower than 35 is gonna be alkalosis. The CO2 is similar to the pH. So anything lower than 22 is gonna be acidosis. More than 26 is gonna be alkalosis. Make sure you understand those to the T. You need to memorize your normal values. There are three of them, memorize them by heart. So I put an example here on the screen. With two examples, I'm gonna explain everything you need to know about ABG's interpretation. First off, we're gonna start with this example. So the pH is 7.23. The PCO2 is 48, HCO3 or the bicarb is 29. So basically the rule that we're gonna use is tic-tac-toe. A lot of you guys have played tic-tac-toe when you are young. So it's this grid. In the middle, we're gonna put normal. Acidosis right here and alkalosis on the other side. Alrighty? So we've got that example right there. pH is 7.27. So it's less than. So it's going to be right here. Let me use the wet pen. It's going to be right here. So it's acidotic. So I'm going to put pH right here because it's acidotic. PCO2 is 48. So 48 is right here, right? It's higher than 45. So 48 is right here, so I'm gonna put it under acidosis, so PCO2. And then you've got your bicarb is 29. So where does that fit? It fits right there, right? Because it's more than 26. So I'm gonna put HCO3 in alkalosis. It's right here under alkalosis, so I'm gonna put it right there. So now, I've got the tic-tac-toe. It's right here, so what do I call it? Listen, I'm gonna back up a little bit and explain what does PCO2 and HCO3 means. PCO2, everything that has to do with the lungs, right? Carbon dioxide. CO2 is bicarb, everything that has to do with kidneys and other organs. So everything that has to do with CO2 is gonna be respiratory, everything that has to do with bicarb is metabolic. Let's get that out of the way. So now back to our example. The pH and PCO2 is under acidosis. So it's gonna be respiratory acidosis, right? So now we want to know if our ABGs is partially compensated, fully compensated, or uncompensated. How do I know that? Listen, so since the bicarb is abnormal, that means that the kidneys are doing something to compensate for the lungs, right? That means it's partially compensated. So I'm going to write partially compensated. But if the HCO3 was normal, then it is uncompensated. Right? It is uncompensated respiratory acidosis. See? See how you can tell the difference? If it is abnormal, that means the kidneys are doing something to compensate for the lungs. So it's partially compensated. But if the bicarb was normal, that means that the kidneys are not, they are chilling. They're not doing anything to compensate for the lungs. That means it's uncompensated. 
Now you know what partially compensated means and uncompensated mean and how to figure this out. Now I'm gonna move to another example, a little bit complicated example, but I'm gonna make it easy for you so that you will understand it. Give me a second. Alrighty, so I put another example for y'all and now this example we're gonna discuss it the same way we discussed the other example. So let's see. We're gonna draw the grid the same way we drew the grid the last time. Here it is normal acidotic and here are closes. Already? So there's another grid. So the pH it's 7.42. Where does that fit? Oh it fits in the middle. That's normal. So I'm gonna put pH right here. What about PaCO2? It's 27. So it's right there, right? So it's alkalosis. I'm gonna put PCO2 right here. What about HCO3? It's 19. So it's right there, right? So I'm gonna put HCO3 right here. So now you're a little bit confused, right? Because you don't have a tic-tac-toe. Usually a tic-tac-toe should be like that, like that, or like that. But it's okay. I'm gonna explain to you how to figure this out and how to interpret this ABGs. First off, the pH, we're not gonna touch it right now because it's normal. The alkalosis is off, it's abnormal, and the bicarb is off as well, it's abnormal. So what I wanna check is I wanna check what's my primary problem. Is it the lungs or the kidneys? How do I check that? I wanna see which one is more abnormal. So for example, PCO2, we said the normal is 27. So how far is it from 35? Minus 27, it's eight. So eight points, all right? I'm gonna put here eight points. It's off eight points. What about the bicarb? It's 19. So if I wanna put 22 minus 19, that's three. So it's three points. So where is my problem? So my main problem is the lungs, okay? So how do I interpret this ABGs? I interpret it as respiratory because that's my main problem. And because it is on the alkalosis side, I'm gonna say respiratory alkalosis, okay? If the bicarb had the more points, so I'm gonna say metabolic acidosis. If the CO2 was right here, and it had the more points, so I'm gonna say respiratory acidosis because it's on this side, all right? Now I wanna know if it is partially compensated, fully compensated, or uncompensated. Listen, whenever the pH is normal, then it is fully compensated. That means the pH in the blood is normal, I have no problems, I'm gonna call it respiratory alkalosis, fully compensated. I hope you guys can see here in the bottom. So this is your ABGs interpretation. It is that easy. Now you know how to interpret an ABGs and not just that, you know how to interpret a fully compensated ABGs, partially compensated and uncompensated ABGs. So with this small presentation, you have everything you need to know about ABGs to answer your NCLEX questions right. And trust me on your NCLEX, you're gonna have at least two questions about ABGs in the first 75 questions. Listen, if you have not clicked the link yet, it's here on the screen or down in the description box. Make sure you click it, let me help you, let me show you the way how to pass your NCLEX on your very next attempt. I helped a lot of nurses pass their NCLEX and you are no different. Click that link, let me show you the NCLEX algorithm. It's totally free, you just need to attend. Put it on your calendar and listen, I will see you inside the webinar.